We're camping on the bay. Hey guys, Tanya and David with Outside by Side. This weekend, we're at Goose Island State Park north of Rockport, Texas. This is an awesome state park. Oh wow, we are camping on the beach. It's amazing. We wanna show you around this park. The state park consists of 321 acres and is surrounded by both St. Charles and Aransas Bay. You're really gonna love it. We've been wanting to come here for a long time and we are so happy we did. It has exceeded all of our expectations. Tanya and I are staying in Site 43. Uh, site 43 is one of the sites on the water, on the bay. There's two bayside loops. We have a concrete shelter with a picnic table with a concrete slab. If you look on the inside, we have 50 and 30 and 20 amp electric with a light, which is nice to have. On this side of the shelter, there's a water hookup. There's no sewer hookup here, but there is a dump station. So there's very few Texas state parks that allow you to actually camp on the water directly. Even Galveston State Park, you're not directly on the water. But this is amazing because you step out of your camper and you are literally on the water. And you can fish right from your campsite. It is so awesome. What a great place to camp. Spin me around and around, turn me upside down. Spin me around and around, let me feel. Spin me again and if you're in the area, we highly recommend you take the short 15 minute drive over the Lyndon B. Johnson Memorial Bridge to Rockport, which is a quaint tourist destination for anyone looking to view the beauty of the Lone Star State. Rockport is a charming Gulf Coast community with beautiful beaches, endless recreational opportunities, beautiful weather, and world-class sunsets. Rockport Beach became the first Blue Wave Beach in Texas. The Blue Wave program is the first national environmental certification for beaches. The Blue Wave certification process is designed to help maintain robust, healthy, and vibrant beaches.
Fishing is the main attraction at the park, where as in all Texas state parks, no fishing license is required if you cast from the shore or a pier. The pier at Goose Island stretches for more than 1,600 feet over the water. Give me a reason to get out of bed. Let's go walk the pier. You might think you know what to expect at a Texas beach park. Fresh salty air, the relaxing sound of water hitting the shore, and spectacular sunsets. Goose Island State Park, however, is also a master class in the Gulf Coast ecological diversity. So here at Goose Island State Park, there's one of the longest piers in Texas. It's about 1,620 feet and uh, it goes out into the bay. Uh, you can fish or take a walk. The bays around Goose Island are surrounded by oyster reefs and seagrass beds. And you can catch all kinds of fish here, red drum, flounder, snapper. I mean, this park is mainly about fishing. Yes, and we're gonna try to do some fishing later. Yes. 25% of the sports fishing that happens on the Texas Gulf Coast occurs here in the Aransas Bay System. Let's go check out the Recreation Hall. Maybe we can shoot some hoops. So the Recreation Hall, which used to be called the Concessions Building, is all that remains of the hard work that was done by the CCC, which is the Civilian Conservation Corps. So the CCC used what was available at the time to create beautiful buildings out of natural stone and trees. In this area, oyster shells were available from the surrounding bays, so they used oyster shells to build the buildings. How cool is that? So here's the picnic area, uh, or the day use area. It's right on the water as well. Lots of nice shaded spots where you can eat or be festive. So 
every single site in the Lantana camping area is just amazing. You have really the best of both worlds. You have water sites and then you have wooded sites. And one of uh, the things that we love the most about camping is the privacy and every single site is private. We have not seen one site that's next to the neighbor. So that's one of the great things about the Lantana Loop. If you can't get a water site, you're definitely getting a great wooded site. Check this out. Your beautiful sight in the summer night And you can't put up a fight in the misty light The big tree is thought to be one of the largest live oak specimens in the United States. In the Texas Forest Service estimates the tree to be over 1,000 years old, while other recent estimates place it nearer to 2,000 years old. We're all on our own, but you're the most beautiful I've ever known. You're a beautiful sight in the summer night. And you can't put up a fight in the light. We don't recommend swimming here as the shoreline has concrete bulkheads, oyster shells, mud flats, and marsh grass. in the park is called Turk's Cap. It's only one quarter of a mile. It's just a nature trail and it has the most beautiful live oak trees. Uh, if you come to the park, definitely check it out. Just a family friendly trail. Really, really nice. Someone who's left their age Reading from a torn out page From a book filled with lies But I don't know what to do I'm staring into the blue sky And just waiting for a sign Some day is certain Of what awaits them When it all ends But I don't know What will happen to me dump station. There's two dump stations in this park and it's a double so you can get it coming both ways. Thank you for watching our video on Goose Island State Park. This has been such an amazing weekend. 
camping on the water. The weather is beautiful. If you enjoy camping on the coast, we highly, highly, highly recommend this state park. We just wanted to thank you all for watching our videos and we're looking forward to uh, more videos coming up in the future. If you like our videos, please like, subscribe, and share to anyone that enjoys the great outdoors and the state and the national parks like we do. Have a great week. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Surrounded by both St. Charles and Aran Arandus, Aran Ar Aran Aransas, and is surrounded by both St. Charles and Aransas and Aran <laughs> and Aransas Bay. Hey guys, Tanya and David with Outside by Side. This weekend, we're at where the hell are we? Island. It's gonna be okay, no matter come what may. I'm gonna set things straight tomorrow.